हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस योर वर्कशीट थर्टी वन फॉर द डेट फोर्टीन सेप्टेम्बर एज यू नो आवर चैप्टर मोशन इज गोइंग ऑन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चैप्टर एसेलरेशन सो हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट द चेंजेज इन विलोसिटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम दिस इज द क्वेश्चन आस बाय गैन टू हर सिस्टर ओके नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट टू टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन इन केस ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म मोशन देर इज नो चेंज इन विलोसिटी ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम but when we talk of non uniform motion when the car car is running there may be a traffic problem there may be the road damage so there is change in the velocity and this change in velocity is resulting into the acceleration so the change in velocity with respect to time with another physical quantity is known as acceleration this is the definition and in its formula it is represented by a small a so this change in velocity of an object per unit time can be called as acceleration definition and when we have to calculate it the acceleration equals to change in velocity upon time taken if the change in velocity we can calculate final velocity minus initial velocity so this is the complete formula of the finding out acceleration a is equal to v minus u upon t you have to remember this in case of non uniform motion we have we are talking of change in velocity because in case of uniform uniform motion there is no change of velocity so when we talk of acceleration if the final velocity is higher than your initial velocity then your acceleration which is obtained will always be positive remember this but if the final velocity is less than the initial velocity then the acceleration obtained will be negative so this can be called as accelerated motion and this can be called as retarded motion as we have discussed in the last worksheet also there is an example on the basis of this a car which is at rest when it is started it, it attains a velocity so when this types of question comes you have to see that initial velocity should be taken as zero when when whenever it is said that car is at rest and final velocity will be 5 meter per second so acceleration v minus u v is 5 u is 0 divided by 2 so it comes out to be plus 2.5 meter per second square now we see the graphs of velocity time graph acceleration of an object can be represented by velocity time graph so we have talked about the distance drive now we are talking of velocity time now acceleration can be uniform and non uniform remember that here we are talking of in case of non uniform how acceleration can be uniform and non uniform okay so in this two things are there when we say uniform acceleration this happens when the speed is constantly increasing there is no fall of the speed you drop a stone from a height it will keep on coming down with a higher velocity so that's why this is a straight line graph we are getting so this is the velocity time graph uniform acceleration motion and when the velocity of the object change unevenly with the time then it is a non uniform motion so you get a sigmoid graph so remember that moving motion of a car in a traffic is a non uniform acceleration and you are coming down over a bridge over a hill top when the acceleration is keep on increasing then it it will be uniform let's see the question answers what is acceleration explain its formula and assign it in brief when we say acceleration the acceleration is the change in velocity of an object per unit time is called acceleration and you have to write this formula change in velocity upon time taken and you can write this one complete formula in that now the second is your numerical which is based on your example only here we is aeroplane which is attaining a velocity of 200 meter per second in 30 seconds okay calculate its acceleration so here also the u will be what zero meter per second and v is 200 so 200 minus 0 it comes out to be 200 divided by 30 so it comes out to be 6.67 meter per second square you have to remember the unit don't write only meter per second write meter per second square because we are talking of acceleration the explain uniform and non uniform acceleration and by velocity time graph here is uniform acceleration this is non uniform you have to draw the graph also it's a direct question then last numerical 
and car accelerate uniformly from 5 meter per second to 10 meter. So here we are getting both the things initial velocity is given and final velocity is given. So initial velocity is 5 meter and final is 10. So it comes out to be 10 minus 5 upon 5. So it will be 5 upon 5 equals to 1 meter per second square and in both these numerical we are getting the answer in positive so it's said to be the accelerated motion or positive hope you like this explanation thanks for watching do like share and subscribe thank you